El minuto. Hey family, I'm Ash Chaparro and here's what's happening today near you. The anticipation keeps growing as another Powerball drawing ends without a grand prize winner. Several people across the states made away with a couple grand and even millions, and the jackpot now stands at $1.5 billion. If it goes up any more than that after Saturday's drawing, it'll be the biggest jackpot in the history of the game. Meanwhile in Jersey, the feds busted the home of a businessman that ran a multi-million dollar stolen catalytic converter ring. Law enforcement agents say Navin Cano was the head of DG Auto Parts, which is accused of buying and reselling stolen parts. And here's where flexing on the gram goes wrong. Cano allegedly had pics of luxury cars all over his page, and listen to this, a necklace in the shape of a catalytic converter. In more serious news, activists will be rallying for 18 hours today to demand the permanent closure of Rikers Island. 18 is the number of inmates that have died so far this year while being under the custody of the Department of Corrections. Protesters are arguing that inmates are being deprived of their basic human rights, including medical care. The pressure is now on Mayor Eric Adams to figure out a plan to get Rikers permanently closed. That's El Minuto. See you tomorrow.